Today I'm going to discuss reference parameters. Um, and I'm also going to discuss a little bit about memory allocation. In a function, the value parameter, when we have a value parameter, it is copied into the memory cell of the corresponding formal parameter. However, for a reference parameter, the address of the actual parameter passes to the formal parameter. Now what this means is that the content of the formal parameter is an address. During the data manipulation in the function, the address that is stored in the formal parameter directs the computer to manipulate the data of the memory cell at that address. Both the actual and formal parameters from the reference refer to the same memory location. The end result is that the formal parameter permanently changes the value of the actual parameter. Now this is ideal for different things that we might want to do in programming. And here's an example. If you need to return multiple values in a function, then you would simply change the function to avoid function and then use reference parameters and then you can return more than one value. So up to this point, everything that I've demonstrated in a function, we return a single value. Let's just take a look at this main function right here. We have the main function, and something happens, and it returns zero. But what I'm talking about using the reference parameters is what if we needed to return multiple items instead of a single value? In order to do that, we would create the uh, function set this to void, and then we would return multiple items. So I am going to go over an example of how to do this, and uh, I think you'll find it interesting. I'm going to demonstrate the um, use of, uh, of, of reference parameters in the simplest functions that I can think of. And so using the old um, area and parameter and, uh, and the different uh, ways to calculate these things with, a, let's say, a circle or a square, or mostly a square. Um, I'm going to use those examples. So uh, the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to uh, create the um, I'm going to create the uh, the function of a of a, of a of a circle. So let's go ahead and start. Um, I'll start right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to use double because I want the return type to be double. So the first one I'm going to do is going to be a regular value, um, a regular value returning function, so that we can uh, start off slowly and remember uh, how to do this stuff. So let's do this, and we're going to do double, and so this is going to be the um, let's see for a circle. So this is going to be our function for a circle. It's going to be a value returning function. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, and let's do a little bit of formatting here, is I'm actually going to write the function. So usually what I do is I just copy this over. And then just do your open and close brackets. Now remember, this one's going to return something. So this one here, we're going to go ahead and return. Um, I guess uh, we're going to return area of a circle. So yeah. All right. So let's just call it area circle. And I know that variable's not declared yet, but it will be. And so. I'll go ahead and um, and let's see, type in the area of the circle. So let's see. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I'm going to need the uh, radius. Um, to, I'm going to need to set it to something, but um, I think that'll happen up here in the main. So yes. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go with double because I'm going to be calling this function and I'm going to set it to R for radius. We're going to set that just for fun at 5.5 just to make it easy. And let's see what else do I want to do. Let me correct that. And I want to do double our area. So area and let's just say circle. 
not going to assign it to anything because it's going to be used as a as just a reference parameter here in a little bit. I'll show you. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to set this area of a circle equal to what's returned. And I'm sorry, I can't talk and type at the same time. I know they say that in every video, but it's so true. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I need to output some stuff. So let's say C out. I want to do this. Okay, so that is how we get started here. Um, and for the first one, we're just going to do a regular value return function. So this, uh, and I'll explain all this in a moment here. Let's go ahead and, and get our, uh, our our little calculation thing here. Let's see. Okay. So when, when R is passed in, we're going to need to calculate the area of a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and do this again. So double area, and circle. And it's equal, and I'm just going to type in 3.14. I know I could use the math function and get a really accurate one, but this is just for a demonstration, so let's do it this way. Okay, so this is the value returning function, and up here we can see that uh, we've defined it, but it's going to be called calculate. And it's, uh, the value that will be returning is a double. The value that it's going to take in is also a double. And right here, here we have our function uh, set up the way that I described. And uh, it'll be it'll be taking R, which is going to stand for radius. And we have our formula. We're going to take the uh, area of a circle redefined here in this function. Because this function here, area of a circle, is different from this function, this area of a circle. These two areas of a circle are have different meaning because they're in different uh, functions. Okay, so here, this area of a circle is going to go to, to 3.14 times r raised to the second power. And that's how you do that in uh, C++. So we're, we're just, it's just a formula for the area of a circle. All right, so once we've done that, we'll have our area of the circle, depending on what we've entered for r, and we're going to return area of a circle. And when that comes back here, so this, this is going to happen here, um, when it's called right here on line 14, we're going to have area of a circle as it's calculated here, and then we're going to we're going to print it out to the console. So here we're going to output where the circle is, and then we have this part right here. Okay. So I think this is ready to go. Let me just double check my code. Whatever the root definition all looks good. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and run this. And so here we have, I'll put it right here where you can see everything. We defined our, our, um, our function. It's going to be taking r. Uh, the uh, parameter that we're going to be taking is we're going to call it r. And this is a value returning function. This is the, uh, the value parameter. And the value that we're going to send it is 5.5. So here, right here on line 13, is where we call that function, calculate. And we've, we're going to send it r, which is 5.5. So this right here is a value parameter. That's what this is. And this is a value returning function. At the value returning function, we know this because it has the double. So we're passing in a double r, which is 5.5. 5.5 comes here, it is raised to the second power, there's multiplied by 3.14, that gives us area of the circle. It is then returned right to here, excuse me, to here. And then we print it out with this little message. And then, so you can see right here in the output, it says area of the circle equals this. And uh, that should be right. Okay, so that's the, the way that we handle a regular value returning function, just for a little review. But what if we need to return multiple um, multiple values? Then we need a reference parameter. So I'm going to go over that. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And back up here, we need to define a new, um, a new function. So I'm going to do that. 
Okay, so this time I just went ahead and, and typed it up rather than making you guys watch me struggle. And so here we have uh, we have our our new function called calculate, and we're going to be trying to grab um, return. Excuse me, two different uh, parameters. We want the area and we want the parameter. So we want to return two values, not just one. And so we set it to a void, and uh, which is the first step to doing this and we're going to be ref working with reference parameters and so the way that you you tell the system that it's going to be a reference parameter is by this ampersand uh, after the int so here I have int so the area variable is going to be um, of data type int and it's going to be a reference parameter you can tell that because of this right the same with parameter so I have a, a, a parameter named parameter and uh, it's also going to be a data type int and it's also going to be a reference parameter and you can see that there all right, so let's go down here and let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and type up the function for the uh, reference parameter. All right, so on lines 28 through 36, there's the new function called calculate. And you can see that it's a void function. And um, we, we're going to be taking in x, area and parameter. Now area and parameter are both reference parameters. And then we have our little formula for calculating the area of the square. Uh, so we're just taking the x raised to the second power. And, um, and then parameter is just uh, four sides of it, right? We're just, just the sum of four sides. So if we know x, we can just multiply it by four. And uh, that will give us the parameter per <laughs> of, the, uh, of the parameter, which I think I misspelled that. But I'll fix that later. OK, so um, anyways, this is, a, this is what we want. And uh, Let's see, what do I need to explain here? So it's going to be returning nothing, so it returns here. It's, re it's taking in three parameters, a regular value return, a regular, a regular value parameter, and then two uh, reference parameters. And um, we're, what we're looking for here is it's going to return two items. We want to capture area, and we want to capture parameter. And by using these reference parameters, we can, we can grab both of, these, uh, both of these values once this function is called. So I'm going to fix my spelling, and, uh, and I'll continue explaining. All right, so I corrected my spelling, so perimeter and perimeter. And uh, our function is complete. All right, so now that we have our function set up with our reference parameters, we need to uh, do some work in the main function in order to uh, call it and make things work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this stuff a little bit down because I, I want to keep it separate. So this is going to be all things related to a circle. And so we're good there. And now we're going to do uh, the other items. So the first thing I need to do is I need to prepare a uh, declare a variable that's going to be used by the reference parameter. And let's see what else. But we're going to need another one that's going to stand for area, by the way. And this one's going to stand for perimeter. Okay, so we have that set up. And we need to pass it some type of uh, information. So since this is really simple, we're just working with a square, I only need to know one side to calculate everything um, since all sides of the square are equal, of course. And so here I'm going to initialize x and I'm going to assign it the value of 5. Let's go to uh, the uh, So imagine a square and each side is 5. So here we have it. We have our, uh, our um, variables. These are value returning variables, uh, value variables. And uh, what we're going to be using them, we're going to be using them, though, for reference parameters. Um, so basically, the, the value itself will change because it's going to point to the address of the reference parameter once we call it. All right. So the next thing we need to do is actually call that, that uh, function. So the function we're going to be calling is the... Um, is this one right here, the square? Uh, we're going to call this function right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's give it the parameters. 
So let's say x and a and p. Just to call. And uh, probably actually, okay, so that there's no confusion. And let's see, we need to then output stuff. So let's do that. So CL. So we have our let's see we have our, our values int a int p for area per, and uh, perimeter x is the side and then we're going to calculate to make sure we put this in the right order um, so x area and p so x and p we pass it in that order um, plus one I saw where did it go oh here we go x a p so that is the right order right here this needs to be exactly the same order as this right here. Okay, so I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, so this is good. And what we get here is we get is the uh, output right here. Um, square area, so or I should say the area of the square, but I'm not going to fix it, is 25, uh, which makes sense. And the perimeter which is if the side is 5 and there's 4 sides, is 20, so that makes sense. Uh, the area of the circle is still being calculated because it's called uh, right here. And, um, and then it's, uh, it's, this is the area of the circle. So all the information was calculated. What I want you to notice is that we did actually return two values. We returned the area and the perimeter from that one function. That, that's what mattered. And the way that we did it, I do want to go over this again, just uh, to be clear, because uh, it, it can be a little confusing, is it's because of this ampersand right here. So this ampersand tells us that it's going to be a reference parameter. And once we pass it right here and here, A and P, to that calculate function, which is this one right here, uh, the, cal the calculate here, what's happening is the, uh, the, the uh, parameter, the reference parameter, is going to be uh, area, and area actually uh, writes the new value to the address location of A, and the same with P. So right here, parameter, again, because it's a reference parameter, when whatever we've passed it is actually going to write the address of the value to P. And that's why, even though we're not returning anything, um, you know, it's, it's a void, so it's returning nothing, um, these two values have actually changed the parameters that were passed to it. And so right here on this calculate, A and P get their value. They're, they both get returned. So right here, these two get returned as A and P. Now X doesn't. X is only going in, and that's because uh, X is not a reference parameter. So there's no ampersand. Uh, only area and perimeter uh, are reference parameters. X is not. Okay, so I hope that that was a good explanation. Um, it's a, as good as I can explain it. It is a little bit challenging to, to grasp, grasp, but it is a very convenient way to return multiple values um, when, when you have a function and you want to grab the different values. This is how you do it. Very simple. Now, there are other things you can do. For example, if you want to return a single object, you could easily, uh, in, uh, you could easily add these to a list and return just a list and there's other ways to do it. But this is a really, really simple way to get uh, different values returned in a, in, a, in a function and then use them as I did right here. So here I called them and I basically just uh, initially, I declared them and then here they get initialized to the values that the calculate function gives them. And then I just print them out and say, okay, what are they? And that's where we get the, our information, which uh, is right here, 25 and 20. All right, so that's how you do a reference parameter. 
One last thing I want to point out is you'll notice I use the same name for my uh, for my functions, calculate and calculate. Um, that was something else. I did that on purpose because I also wanted to show you how to overload a function. So in this case, um, we're going to use the the, uh, the the function name calculate, but twice. However, we can do that, and the only rules we have to follow are, are the are these. The um, the parameters have to be different, so you can see this one only takes one parameter. This one takes three, including two, well, including two reference parameters. And so because of that, there's a distinction. So how I call it, for example, here where I call it the three values, it knows to use this function. Right here, uh, where I'm passing it just a single value, it knows it needs to use this function. And so that's why that's called overloading a function. Now, you can have the same number of variables, but something has to be different. They either have to be, in this case, where there's more parameters or where they have different names. So they could have, this one could have three parameters also, but the names would have to be different. Or they could have the exact same three names, but then a data type has to be different. But there has to be something to distinguish these two functions. Uh, but you can use the, name, the same name, and that's called overloading a function. So that's a, I did this on purpose to show you uh, how to overload a function and then also how to use a reference parameter. All right, well, that's it. Uh, I thought it was pretty simple. It is uh, it's very, very handy, something that you can use in your code. Um, I'll, I'll run through the code one more time. And uh, just in case you guys want to try this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, in the uh, description, I will put a link to my GitHub account to this, uh, to this um, code so you can download the source code if you want to just try, uh, download it and, and uh, then manipulate it from there without having to type all this stuff up. Happy coding!